I'm still catching up in episodes from last week and couldn't believe how surprised the crew was at the thought of Vivek running as VP. Um, I'm still learning about him, but I see him as Trump's VP running mate. Well, I don't think you're running to be VP, but I'll let you speak for yourself here. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm not running to be anything other than Vivek president. So maybe that's the VP they were talking. I'm just kidding. Oh, nice. <laughs> How long did you rehearse that joke? <laughs> not at all. I just came to mind actually as he when he was saying VP. I was like, mm, all right, well, that's there we go. So, so uh, the truth is not an ego thing. Mm -hmm. I just don't do well in a number two position, right? And I think we've all got to each look ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves, how are we going to make a maximal contribution to this country? Believe me, there are meaningful ways, big, maybe even more meaningful ways of impacting this country than doing it through politics, including even through the presidency. I've written three books in the last two years. I've built businesses. I built Strive to compete against BlackRock. I've built other companies in the past, employed thousands of people in this country. There's, there's many ways of driving change in this country. And there are actually a lot of other talented politicians in the Republican Party that, you know, I think has a deeper bench than it gets credit for. One of those people should take all of the cabinet slots if it's not me. I think that one of my unique gifts is the ability to be a successful builder and executive and leader. And I can't do that from a position where I'm reporting into somebody else. I don't think Donald Trump would be particularly effective in a cabinet position either. Mm -hmm. I think certain people are just wired and cut out to do things in a certain way. And so when I think about how do I want to use my talents best to advance the interests of this nation, and the conclusion I came to is I think I'm best positioned to reach the next generation, to deliver national pride, to as an outsider, but also somebody who understands the Constitution, shut down that deep state administrative state in a way that Trump didn't quite get to. I know how to do these things. I think it's going to take an outsider to do it. I'm independent financially. I don't have to pay any heed to a donor class. I've put you know, $15 million plus already of my hard earned money. And we're going to stop at nothing to stay independent, but we're not doing that to, to go through the motions. Are you